yeah, so this is the wilderness weapon video. I just want to go and make a full video explaining everything there is about these, how they work, the um, the rates and all that kind of stuff. We'll get into everything. I'll even show them off. So, for starters, let's talk about the stats. So, now if you look them up on the wiki uh, for old school or whatever, they're all basically tier 60 weapons. Uh, the crossbow, I actually made tier 70 and that was only because I just copied like the crystal bow. I think it's it's bonuses. The attack bonus is is tier sixty, but it has the strength of a tier seventy. So it, it's kind of like in between a. I, I was, I, there's no tier sixty bow, is there? I don't know. I guess there is no tier sixty bow. It's like a tier sixty five bow, if you will. Maybe I guess I guess the closest thing would be the third age, the third age bow. Um, and then what all the perks are is that they do double damage in the wilderness. So it's not double accuracy, it's not an improved accuracy, it's straight up just double damage. So they're basically tier 60 weapons with the damage of, I don't know, tier 120. I, I don't know how it exactly works to tiers, but you know what I'm trying to say. They do double damage. So the main thing you need to focus on is that. That's that's what's make, what makes them good. And then there's a common misconception that they're PvP weapons. I've, I've seen a couple people talk to them, talk like talk about them being PvP weapons. They're not. They are not PvP weapons at all. They are wilderness weapons. Now, let me... So here we are looking at the actual... This is the Vigora Chain Mace page. And even though the server is not entirely based on old school, it is based on old school. We try to keep... We don't try to keep everything exactly one-to-one -one the same as old school. But we try to get as close as possible. And where we've gone differently is we don't have the accuracy boost. So how it works um, on the live game is over, it has an additional 50% melee accuracy and damage boost. Is applied when you're attacking any NPC in the wilderness, consuming one ether per attack. Now ours doesn't consume ether. I'll talk about the ether and where it comes into play in a minute. But the thing I wanted you to focus on there was attacking any NPC. These are wilderness weapons. They're not PvP weapons. It does not do double damage in PvP. So if you use this crossbow against another player in the wilderness, you're basically using a third age longbow. That's basically just what you're using. You're not using... If you're using the Chain Mace, you're using a Tier 60 Dragon Scimitar that uses Crush. That's that's literally all you have. So it's not a good weapon to get, use against other players, and it's not a weapon you should be concerned about because I've had a couple complaints about it, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a sec because it, it, it pertains to the Ether and where that comes in. So that is what the weapons do. I don't have the accuracy boost on here, and a big part of why I didn't do that is because I think that that... It's not. I just thought that the damage boost would be enough, and from the initial test I did, and I'll show you. I'll show you how they work out. I think that that's great as well, and fifty percent extra. I it, trust me. Like that, you'll see. You'll see. The weapons are certainly good. That this video isn't necessarily a testing video, just because I'm pretty happy with how they look already. Now, if people have complaints or or suggestions to make them, you know, differently, I will consider them. I always talk about that. I always talk about how I'm not a dictator. This isn't a dictatorship type server. If you have opinions, voice them, and I will definitely consider them moving forward. But don't, you know, if you have the weapon you paid three bill for, don't go, oh, I think it's not good enough. It should be, it should one shot every monster. You know, we're gonna we're gonna do ample testing before we realize it. So that's how the, the weapons work. They basically do double damage. I think that the, I can't remember which one of them it is, but one of them does three times. I think it might have been the chain mace, but I don't know. Anyways, let's get into the wilderness and let's uh, let's show them off. Okay, so here we are in the wilderness. So there's another common misconception with the uh, wilderness weapons is that you can get them from revenants. You can get them from revenants, but you can't like only get them from from revenants. You can get them from any monster in the wilderness. So I'll show you what the the formula looks looks like. Alright, so hopefully you're not seeing anything too uh, too important. I'm always like iffy I'm showing you guys the files just because you never know what could be what could be in there that I'm just not thinking about that is exposed. So this is the exact formula for the wilderness weapon. So you can look at the top. The first the first thing is the wilderness controller. So this basically just means you are in the wilderness. That is the first requirement. You need to be in the wilderness. If you're killing bandos at bandos, that's not gonna work. You're not in the wilderness, even if you're scold. The second part of the requirement is is the player's scold. So you have to be scold and killing a monster. It has to be monsters in the wilderness. So you don't you won't if you kill a person, they obviously don't access this table or anything like that. So it is 
Uh, the chance of hitting the table are is 1 in 18,000, but there are nine items. So you have basically nine chances of hitting um, the, the 1 in 18,000. So it's really it's 9 in 18,000. And if you simplify it like math, like, you know, like math, how math goes, it's basically 1 in 2,000 to hit the table. Every single item has equal weight on the table. So it's basically 1 in 2,000 to hit the table and then 1 in 18 for any specific item within it. So most of the items you're going for are going to be troll items that are just there just to consume space. That's, you know, there's a billion different ways you can make mystery boxes. You can make it so that there's a specific table with the good items on it. You can make it so that all of the items are on the same title, but there's a lot more junk items. There's a billion ways to balance, you know, boxes and just anything, really. You know, there's multiple different ways to do it. And we've done multiple different ways throughout the history of revival. This is the way we've done that. So I know people love to complain about... Anytime we do stuff like this, they don't like it. They want every single drop to be pristine, 500 mil cash drops. You know, they don't, they, 500 cardonics what am I going to do with those? You know, that's, it's literally only there just to be a troll drop that's not as good as the actual big drops you're going for. So, you know, if you get it, I'm sorry, but that's, that was, that's the whole point, is just to make the other items more rare. So, 500 cardonics, five sinister keys, membership ticket, dark stone wooden shelf, which is basically five, of the bookcases, which is just random books or lamps. It's XP. And then you have the skull that skulls you. So there is an item that skulls you. People have been asking about that. There is an item. It is on this table. It is also on the Arcanist Blob's table. It was added to recently. So there are only two ways to get it. Arcanist Blob and then this table itself. Now, obviously, you can um, you can just use the NPC in Edgeville. There is an NPC in Edgeville to skull you. We did change the skull timer. It is now 20 minutes. So you go to Edgeville, skull up get into the wilderness and kill any monster any monster i tried coding a combat requirement um it just didn't work out and uh i just decided to skip it so you can kill scorpions level three or ten whatever the hell their level is those will work the exact same as killing dragons so if you were specifically trying to farm this table it would be better to kill something easy and consistent chaos druids green dragons these goblins will work but any monster can access the table so you're free to kill whatever you want. Now, the only thing Revenants do that no other monster in the wilderness does is drop the ether. So if we... Let's get the mace. So we kill this goblin here. Let me, um... Spawn a Slicker Shadow. So you can see we got some ether here. And I made the ether mount really low because you don't lose it. I didn't make it so that they had consistent charges because, for one... On a private server, stuff like that is really just kind of annoying. Like, you play private servers because you don't want to deal with the balances that the live games have to go through. Now, RuneScape 3, almost any high-tier item has charges or degrades. And that's just their way of trying to balance it out and try to, you know, take cash out of the eco and whatnot. But as a private server, we have different concerns and different issues. I Stuff like that, I just don't like doing. It's hard to code. It's difficult, really difficult to code, and players don't like it. I, I you know, I, I don't, I don't want it. I would, it would be annoying if your tentacle, you know, broke. No one would ever use it. I'm mean, obviously in this game, you would never use it because there's other items. But I just don't think degradable items are fun on pri our private servers, and I don't ever really plan to code them. Uh, the only thing we have is the blowpipe. That's because someone else coded it, and we, we, you know, we leached their files. Basically, it's, it was, it was in Vincillo, um, the source, and we've kept that ever since. So. That's the only reason that exists. As far as me, myself, coding content, I don't think I would ever code anything. No, I don't want to say never. I just don't think so because, like I said, I don't think that content is fun. So you only need 1,000 ether and you can permanently charge it. Now, when you permanently charge your weapon, it becomes untradeable. So if you wanted to trade any of these weapons, you would have to unload it. And when you unload it, you lose all the ether. You do not get back. So that's it's really just sort of um, an additional thing that you have to keep track of when you're using these weapons. And a couple people have pointed out that, that oh, that's broken. You can use these weapons. Um, I think the, the exact person said that the person was one-iteming with the crossbow. That is dumb for, for, for two reasons. One, you can do that with any untradeable item, and there are other better items that are untradeable. For example, Augmented Rapier is my immediate thought. That would probably be one of the best untradeable weapons. This is a tier 65 bow. I, I suppose my dimensions are all crazy now. Let me get back down here. It's a tier 65 bow. So if someone's one item you with this crossbow, it is a tier 65 bow that they're one item you with. You, if, you, if you had a Redwood short bow, you'd be beating them. You would do, you would do more. Now... 
you know, now, wh whether that's fair or not, that's a whole other issue for a whole other video. I'm just saying that should never be your concern. These weapons are not PvP weapons. So if someone is, oh, they're cheating by crossbowing you, that they could do that with an augmented rapier being, and have way more effect. I mean, you know, you could... There's, there's so many different ways you could be a dick if you really want to be. You could bring the augmented rapier and, you know, rag people, all that kind of shit, and, um... My thought process is, if it's the wilderness, it's the wilderness, man. If you don't like it, you don't have to be in there. I, you know, I, I try to make it so that none of the stuff that's going to be in the wilderness will ever be, like, 100% needed to have the best gear. These weapons are obviously um, specific to the wilderness. And if you didn't want to go in the wilderness to, like, you know, get them in the first place, you don't want to keep them and use them. So, um, that's it. So, you can do whatever you want. With the one item you can see here, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure we're potted with piety and kind of hits you can expect. Um, yeah, they're just they're just wilderness weapons that do a ton of damage on wilderness monsters, and we plan to improve and increase the amount of uh, of monsters that exist in the wilderness. Right? That, I mean, that's part of the plan. So the ether should be tradable. I don't know what the street price would be, but you do need a thousand to charge one weapon. So I would think that that would have you know a decent chunk of value by itself. We'll have to just see. I guess it always really just depends on the wilderness weapons, how many get in game, who's using them. But yeah, I'll just kind of show you. And it and it and it works for any monster in the wilderness. You can see him hitting all these. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go one sec. So if we make our way all the way up to Chaos Elemental, you should see that it's oh, there's been an item. So I guess that'll work. So let's just smack the crap out of it. You can see it's a good weapon that, you know, if you're going to kill anything in the wilderness. And like I said, you don't always have to consider what's in there right now. I mean, sure, that, you know, what's in there right now is what you can kill. But there's always the future. And if you have your own suggestions, go to the Discord. Go to suggestions. And then suggest. Do it. Right? We'll listen eventually. Even if you don't get a reply back and you, you might think that you're... Your suggestion wasn't seen or wasn't heard. If it is doable, it is possible, and we like it, we will do it. If it's not doable, not possible, then, you know, we'll have to figure out what, what part of it isn't, and we'll fix it from there. Um, so you can see the weapons are, are pretty good, pretty, you know, pretty standard and everything. Let me, um, I, I don't want to just switch around my gear a billion times. I suppose I should, because this is a testing video, so fuck it. Okay, <laughs> so we've got a better magic set up. Um, just some void, something, something, something somebody might use actually in the wilderness. I assume you would never, never really expect to see anybody with like full, uh, what, what was it called? Full um, dark, dark, the, the robe of darkness and all that stuff. You wouldn't, you wouldn't really expect to see that. You probably see something like void. Um, and another thing to keep in mind, it is the wilderness people PK. Even on a server with 18 people, they are talking about PK. You, are, you will get PK. I will PK you. I plan to make a new account that no one knows about and just collect clips of me killing you guys. So. It's the wilderness. If you go into the wilderness, you might die. If you, like, keep spamming the chat, oh, fuck you, I can't believe you killed me on a private server, that's unbelievable, I died in the wilderness, what? What? You're gonna get, you're probably gonna get in trouble if you keep it up. So, you know, I don't know, be a, be a, <laughs> be a grown-up, you know, don't, don't whine like a baby, it's the wilderness. Don't bring anything you don't, you don't want to lose. I understand it's a private server, not everything is exactly what it wants to be. There are, are item issues where items are, are not being kept correctly. Most of these wilderness items don't have a good protection value. You would lose them over other things. That's probably why that person was one iteming. It's because they didn't want to lose it compared to any other thing. It wasn't, you know, because they're trying to be a dick and rag you with the tier 65 weapon. It's because they didn't want to risk losing it. And that's going to be fixed probably the day after you're watching this. Because I think I'm going to upload this on Thursday and then the update will be Friday. Um, if the update, if this, if you're not seeing this before the update and the update happened, then you're likely seeing this on Saturday. <laughs> so then you don't have to worry. Those, those issues will be fixed, but just keep that in mind. It's the wilderness. Um, always check your items kept on death. Untradables are ignored. Now void is not untradable anymore, but if I was, I'm pressing the wrong button. That's what I'm doing. If I was scold, it would tell me I was only keeping one thing. And I don't, I don't know what that'd be. Maybe the, the just our legs, but you can see here, the weapon is, they're good. I mean, w exactly if it can compete against a whole other list of items, we'll see. Maybe maybe we do need to do an actual full-on testing video, but I'm very comfortable with them. I'm very happy with the results they've had. Obviously, magic is one of the weirder ones. I'm praying the wrong thing. That would probably help. And I'm also not... Um, about to run out of prayer. And I'm going, I should have remembered that ID. I need to make it so I have infinite prayer. 
Anyways, so, you know, this is one of the tankier monsters you're going to find. I'll go to Chaos Elements. We'll see Chaos at least a little bit. And I'll show you the range ones, show you the kind of hits you can get. I saw Peach talking about it last night, and I think he said he was hitting hundreds, you know, almost. So it's the strong weapons. They've got the good stats. Uh, let me go over here. You can see the accuracy is definitely um, definitely lower, but I think the damage more more than makes up for it. Of course, the chaos elementals gotta be uh, gotta be annoying. Of course, and it works with other spells. I just happen to be on ancients. Probably, probably would be best to like be doing blood barrage. That'd probably be what you want to do. What was that hit right there? At Fifty-six. So you can see it's definitely doing more damage. It doesn't have an individual damage boost like a lot of other staffs, so you're probably wondering, oh, that's not, you know, the damage I've been used to. That's because it doesn't have an individual damage boost. It just has the, the, the like, the effect, uh, the, uh, the wilderness effect. So, you know, maybe, maybe we shouldn't make that change there. Maybe, I, I don't think it, I don't think it has a damage boost on old school. I think it just has, like, that effect, the special effect that it has, you know, that they all have. Uh, let's show off the cross. You know, basically the same thing. You can, you can see that these are pretty good. Um, trying to figure out if there's any information that, that, that I can cover that, you know, that's been talked about lately. So you have to be scold to 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 get the items. Have to be scold to access that table. Why is this one so wonky with... Oh, I, I, I'm wearing the one that you can't... That Yeah, yeah, you have to pay attention to that. I'm wearing the wrong one. So yeah, you do you do have to make sure it's charged. You can kind of see right here from like just the pure possibilities these things have. Uh, I mean that's me. I should have covered everything. If you have any questions, if you think anything I didn't talk about that's pertaining to these, uh, you know, this update, let me know. I will try to answer all your questions. But it's pretty simple. You just need to be scold. And killing monsters in the wilderness does not matter what monster you're killing. If you are not in the wilderness, it will not count. So, for example, I don't think King of Black Dragon is actually in the wilderness, um, so that would not count. It should it shouldn't have any damage boost if we go there and we make our way through the wilderness. It shouldn't have any damage boost at all. You should not be able to access the the, the, the table. It has to be in the wilderness. And if you if you don't have a little skull thingy, no one can attack you. You're not in the wilderness. An Edgeville dungeon counts. That's the wilderness. If you're in Edgeville dungeon killing chaos druids or black demons, whatever else is in there, that will count. That will work as long as you are scold. So you can see here, this is just your standard tier 65 weapon. So if someone was using this to rag you, you wouldn't be concerned. I'm just talking about that one specific example because you know I'm just trying to talk about every possible example I've seen people talk about. I know people are, are confused about the weapons. Hopefully, they're not anymore. And if you are still confused, you still have any questions, you're not 100% sure what, you know, what's, how it works, let me know. I'll answer. But thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. hope you learned something. I apologize that this was a little longer and less straightforward um, as a guide than I meant it to be. But hopefully you learned what, what you needed to learn.